Okay, you gotta give us a moment. I've been waiting for this moment the whole day. Hi. Welcome to the Mariah Report. I'm Martin Burgess. And I'm Dan Enriquez. And we're here in New York City. It's summertime. It's nice, warm, enjoyable days. Yes. <laughs> and the time has come. Here we are. Uh huh. Um, I think some sports was happening today. Somewhere. Oh, really? Because I was on the train going downtown and I saw a whole bunch of Derek Dieter, Dieter jerseys. Really? What what is he? He's not in the sports anymore. He's retired. No, I know, but you know the fans. Uh, oh, I think he was in baseball. This is a World baseball. Series. Some today. I don't know. I don't know. Why is everybody wearing Jeter shirts? I know. And then here I am listening to Mariah in my ear things. I'm like, what's going on? Like, what's happening here? What does this mean? What is what's <laughs> going on? <laughs> what's happening? <laughs> okay, well, shout out to Derek Jeter. I wonder how he's doing. I'm sure he's fine. I'm sure he's fine. Anyways, we have we're doing moments this week. Mariah basically has like been on vacation. Not her allegedly. fault though, because she was supposed to do the it, the Italian orchestra thing uh-huh. with John Legend, uh-huh. but that was canceled. Right. So she got the week off. Yeah. Why not? I guess. But I bet know. she was like low key excited. You know, like when school's canceled. I mean, a little bit. However, I think. I think that was going to be a, a phenomenal show. I know. It was going to be phenomenal. Yeah. Mariah said there was going to be a hundred piece orchestra. Uh, I mean, a duet or two with John Legend. Gag. Maybe. I mean, we know. It would have been good. Oh, their voices together are so good. I know. So good. That With You I'm what Born was, Again. I know, I know. And the, the Christmas song? Christmas. Oh my God. What was the excuse they canceled? They couldn't accommodate? The orchestra or something? I think the whole festival was canceled. It was. Yeah. So I think it was, it had to do with like, I don't know. Everything. Everything. Everything outside of Mariah and John Legend. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, that would have been so good. Mariah with an orchestra. I know. Girl. Girl. I know. I can't I know. even. I know. Anyways, so we missed out on that, but she's over there in Europe. Now, the tour is almost coming to an end. Yes. We really only have one more show. Well, guess what I was thinking? What? Based on the past, usually when the tour ends, it's a wrap for the out for the era. On to the next era. Um, well, we're going to get into that because Mariah just said last night in Barcelona. Spain, yes. Spain. Spain. Thank you very much. <laughs> I know where that is, <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> I don't know why I thought I earlier in uh, I said it was in Italy, but I I was like, yeah, girl, she was just <laughs> in Italy playing Barcelona. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, uh huh, yeah, okay, <laughs> close enough, brother, right there. I know Europe, Europe, it's in Europea, that's Europea, yeah, you're <laughs> on a <monopia. laughs> Um, so. Uh, okay, well, now I lost track of what I was going to say. Mariah, Barcelona, Mariah, studio. Barcelona, studio. Okay. End of the era. End of the era. I don't think it's the end of the era. What else are we getting? I don't know. Maybe something. Like? Another single. Such as? I don't know. Giving me life. We're getting a video for that? Stay long, love you. We're getting a video for that? Yeah, she, if there's a single, we're getting a video. Does that sound like something you want? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, let me tell you, you'll never get it. Not from her. Not from her. No, I think it's a wrap. I don't think so. Because, like, yeah, I see what you're saying because that's usually how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> so I definitely see. I see that. But there's still so much life left in caution. And what if this is just the end of the European leg of caution? What if she takes it to Asia? What if she brings it back to the U.S.? Oh, keeps it going. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because some people do that. I'll totally like see it Pink, again. I think Pink has been on tour with that tour for seven years. <clears throat> but she's going to do and Butterfly she just calls it another. She just calls it the same tour, but it's like, she, bitch, you ain't been touring for two years, but I it's know, the same fucking tour. Something. I don't know. Do you think she's going to... I mean, the West Coast is gagging for it. The West Coast is not getting the caution tour. I'm sorry to tell everybody. But even like Vegas, stick it in Vegas. 
You could stick it in Vegas. Maybe. No. Why? What? Can she please stop going to Vegas? <laughs> I don't like please? going to Vegas. I know. Uh, she. I guess she could put it in Vegas. The thing is, West Coasters can get to Vegas easy. They can drive. They can well, get yeah. a cheap ticket on the plane. Yeah. That's the thing. What is she going to play in Vegas? What's she going to do? I guess she could do the caution tour in Vegas. I know. But would that be called the caution tour or would it be called the butterfly Vegas, returns? The butterfly returns. The butterfly returned already. It's butterfly back. been returned, baby. It shriveled up and died already. Yeah, those things don't live that long. No. <laughs> they don't. Um, I don't know. I'm just, uh, I want to know what Mariah has planned for the next six months. Same. <laughs> and that's basically. It's affecting our business. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I need to know. So, you know, so I can sleep at night. Yeah. Like, because she's not going to be doing nothing. No. But I want to, listen, I also have that theory she's going to bang out an album again. You got to get okay. the momentum going. Yeah. Well, okay. Well, that's true. So let's get into the talk of the new album. So. Oh. Go ahead. There was another thought someone else had on Twitter that I kind of jumped on the wagon to with. What if we're getting a remix caution album with all those remixes we want? Okay, well, that would be amazing. I would really love that. But we see what happened with um, the Angels Advocate remix album. In the bin. Yeah. It's in the bin. And I don't know why it's in the bin because the Angels Advocate remix album is really good. Yeah. You know, you were just on the the radio show, Neon Lights. Neon Nights. Neon Nights. Yeah. In Melbourne, it, yeah, on the radio. Uh huh. We'll hey guys, we'll talk about that too. Oh, yeah. also, we we got some stuff to talk about other than Mariah too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it's all Mariah related, of course. But um, yes. <laughs> okay. So wait, what was I going to say? Ooh, remix album. Okay, remix album. Now the um, the Angels Advocate did not see the light of day. However, I really love those remixes on there. So I yeah, like yeah. them. Some of them I like better than the actual album version. For instance, the impossible, yeah. that Nick Cannon love song yeah. on the album. Uh, uh, I really don't like it. It's same. Uh, and it makes me think of Nick and it's, uh, mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. Uh, I know. Uh. Um, but when you listen to the remix of it, mm-hmm. it's bopping, honey. And the way that yes. she wrote all the lyrics to it, like it works in a more up tempo exactly. way for me. Yes, I know. So I'm like, yeah, but I don't think she's gonna remix Caution. <clears throat> Caution is pretty good where it's at. GTFO needs a remix, a club mix. Definitely GTFO needs a club mix. That's the thing. Can we get a club? There's a club of no no. Oh, yeah. That the yeah. guys played on the yeah. night. Oh, that was a good one. We're gonna put a link. So I was on the radio. Um, in Melbourne, Australia. Shout out to Melbourne. Um, but you were still here in New York. I was here in New York. I was quite phoned in. Was a phoner. Yeah. But um, the guys who do the show Neon Nights, they were doing they they do a particular theme every week of like club remixes and club hits. This week was Mariah, so I called in and kind of like gave Mariah facts and tidbits where I could. Um, and so they're playing the remix, but the whole time I'm on the I could hear the show, right? Because I'm on the phone with them, so I'm like listening to what's going on. When the Impossible Mix came on, I had never paid attention to it. I was like, this is a jam. It's a bop. Yeah. Oh, and you know good. me, my memoir's feelings. Right. <laughs> so. But that's what I'm saying. Like, that remix album really should have, like, been released, like, officially because yeah. it's, it's really good. But they had a, a no-no remix, too. Yes. We'll post the links because they, they post um, the show that I was on and then they post just the music so you can jam out. And yeah. those remixes are on there too. They did. They played some good remixes. Yeah, and they had. Um, they made an emotions remix, and they mixed it in with Pet Shop Boys. Yes, so good. Okay, that was a good one. But I think I loved the. They sort of introduced me to that. We belong together remix. I forget what Mariah's it's called. Miracle. Mariah's Miracle. That's a good one too. That was a good one because I was like, "This is good." Yeah, like this is really good. It was all good. Oh yeah. Um. So yeah, I would love Caution remixed, but. I really need a. Co- mm. I need a. I need a redone, resung GTFO club mix. Yeah. Okay. I'm I mean, totally I'm not going to be happy. I'm, I'm totally down for that. Like that. That 100 percent needs to happen. Yeah. Like just because Mariah is the queen of remixes. And just imagine like GTFO with some different vocals, more of a club beat to it, some yeah. bigger vocals, more runs and stuff. It a more fuller so, song. I mean, it would be so good. Not that it's bad. I'm just saying, like, imagine a club mix, like how right. she, what she did to Butterfly. Right. Like what she did to a lot of songs. Yeah. Oh my God. It, I'm, I'm telling you, it could be like a masterpiece. With like a new verse or something? Yes, yeah, so like n- some new words. Where she goes in. Where she, in? Yeah, where she can really like, yeah. you know. Wouldn't that be good? Um, I don't know if we talked about this on the last week's episode, but I, somewhere Mariah was in Europe. 
Yeah. And she was throwing out some shade. Did I mention this on the podcast that she, she sang GTFO, but she said some words in front of it. And she was like, this was my theme song for a while because, you know, I had to like say this to certain people whose names shall not be mentioned. That's what we say. And I was like, no, that's what we say. But we know who you're talking about. We know who you're talking about. (laughs) And she's, and then she said something like always and forever, like. Something like that, but I don't know. Oh. So, I don't know, but it was definitely some shade towards that woman. Yeah. For sure. Did you hear that Instagram is going to start um, getting rid of fake followers? No. Yeah. Well, there goes that woman's entire following. And her kids and everything. And and the kids. The whole family's got no followers. No followers. They're nobody. Fake and phony. Fake the whole lot phony. of them. Fraudulent. Yes. Fraudulent. Snakes in the grass. Snakes in the grass. Uh huh. Absolutely. I knew she was a snake in the damn grass. You, we have receipts on that. Yes. I was saying that before a no no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mariah was listening to the Mariah report and scribbled down notes. And she's <laughs> stealing my lyrics. <laughs> Like, where's my paycheck? Yeah. No, I mean, obviously, the snake in the grass, I didn't come up with that. It's been around forever, but I did use it in reference to that woman. I know. Just saying. It's fine. It's fine. It's Mariah. We, she listen, can do whatever she wants. We steal. She steals. It's Dude, fine. We steal from her. No one's suing she anybody. Steals back. Yeah. yeah, no it's one's suing fine. no one. It's, everything's fine. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so um, before we get too into Remixes, Mariah, Mariah in the studio. Yeah, but can we talk about when... Okay, Mariah in the studio. Yeah, okay. that's okay, the big okay, thing. Okay. So, but why is everybody saying... So I saw on the Twitter, on the social media, that everybody's like, oh, she's going to be duetting with Ed Sheer- Sheeran. Sheer- Sheeran. Well, not everybody. One person had a theory because Ed Sheeran is also in Barcelona and he's recording a duets album. Okay. Do we want that? I don't mind the Ed Sheeran moment. He's got some cute songs. It could be an interesting mix. I like that song he did with Beyonce. How's it go? What one? So, oh, it's a girl or something. But I found oh, that song, that song, that song. Yeah, yeah, I know the song. Mm-hmm. Because look at what she did with um, Swale. And, Swale. And um, French Montana, Unforgettable. Oh, How that, she matched oh, Swale. Mm, I was like, mm. okay, that could be interesting if she matches Ed Sheeran. I that could be something. who Swale was. I'm suddenly into Swale. Really? He has some good videos, some good songs. Oh. I know. Oh. I'm it's my, my new neighborhood. I'm, <laughs> I'm hearing things. I'm like, oh, what hearing is that? things, and then you're shazamming them, yeah. and going home and doing a full study on them. Yeah. I see. Welcome to Harlem. <laughs> <laughs> no, so I was thinking. Um, okay, I'm curious. Over there on his album. Yeah. Why not? I mean, I'd be. Yeah, I'm down for like a good duet with him. Um, I don't know much about him though, but he's all right. He's, he's got good. hits out. So, okay, so Mariah People was... People in Europe <clears throat> love him. Oh, do they? Yeah. Love okay. him. Like nuts. That could be good for her then. Yeah. I just took a drink of water and I think I almost choked on it. Oh, no. But I'm not going to die. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, she did say she was in the studio. But what is she yeah. doing in the studio? That's the question. She, why does she do this to us? Why does she do this? Don't tell us anything, girl, because now... Once again, put it, I want it on my desk, finished with the video and remixes <laughs> and the artwork, everything. And before and yes. a new website. Before you before tell me about you it. you tell anything. <laughs> yeah. That's how it used to be back in the day. You know, you didn't hear anything until it dropped. Like Has Mariah was like beautiful out club mix. With resung vocals? Yeah, where is that? But I'm well, talking, She told us about it. Well, yeah, but I'm talking about like back in the days, like the 90s. Oh, the You know what I mean? Days. Like those, the good old days. Oh, yeah. Wouldn't everybody, would you like, you didn't say, oh, I have a new single coming out. You just sent the fucking single out. Yeah. You know? You And Mariah was always talking about working on an album. So for her, she it was, was like, oh, yeah, I'm in the studio. But you've been well, maybe in the studio all day, like, every day. Yeah. Maybe it's like the old days. She's back on the wagon. Yeah, why not? Her voice is in pristine condition right now. Yeah. She sounds really good. I know. So it's, girl, you better lay those vocals. Mm-hmm. Lay those vocals down. I'm telling you, what if this this caution was just the charm bracelet? Now we're getting the, the next emancipation of like good vocals. It, I mean, it could be. I'm not saying like the success of emancipation, but a like solid good album. That's caution. Bigger vocals. Okay, that's not caution. Mm-hmm. But do you? I see. Here's I the like thing. vocals, low key caution. Um, low key. I mean, I like cautions, low key vocals. 
I do too. I, like I think it all works. Yeah. I think it fits perfectly. Nighttime themed. Because, yeah, because when you listen to Caution and then you uh, like listen to Ma- uh, Mia and Mariah next, yeah. you're like, oh shit. Like they're two totally different. Like because Mariah's singing, yes, in Me I Am Mariah. Yes. Whereas like with Caution, it's more of like a toned down, natural like yeah singing, more subtle. Yeah, it's a subtlety. I love that though because Mariah she doesn't always have to be in your face. No, modulate. And I think that's why I don't know what that means. Modulate up and down. Move. Oh, okay. Move okay. through it. Okay. All right. Flow. Gra- Flowation. Flowation equals gagation. Yes. That's, all. Uh-huh. That's how it goes. <laughs> all right. Um, but I, um, what was I going to say? I was going to say Mia and Mariah, like she's really singing. Mm. But I love the caution is, it's there. <laughs> it's subtle, but it works. It's a whole vibe. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. The, the sound, the songs, everything, the vibe. Do you know what I keep thinking when Ariana's Seven Rings comes on? I keep thinking it's eighth grade. Really? When it starts. I don't remember how it starts. Just like that ding and noise. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> oh, girl. I couldn't tell you the last time I listened to that song. Seven, seven uh, Rings? Seven Rings? Yeah. I, no, I couldn't. I don't even tell you how it goes. When it I starts, I always think, ooh, is this eighth grade? But it's not. And where are you listening to this? At the out. CVS or at the club? Uh, what I'll work out. Oh, okay. No, they ain't playing eighth grade at the workout. I know. At the gym. <laughs> That's why I always get excited. <laughs> um, yeah, anyways. Uh, new album from Mariah. Some people are saying new album. I, I don't know. I think it's, yeah, you got to bang, like Ariana, bring him out. You got to do it back to back these days. Snooze, you lose. Yeah, but if she, you think she's going to release an album less than a year, two albums in one year? No. Why? Because that's not right. What about post Christmas? Okay, like maybe like in like April, I'm March, January. Or April. No, January, honey, it's too cold. Ain't nobody, you know. I'm thinking January. Nobody's and- bopping in January. Well, drop it in Jan, <laughs> sell it to Joe Schmo at Butterfly Returns in Vegas in Feb. She, she does, Mariah doesn't know how to sell things when she's on tour. <laughs> We've already established that because she can barely sell good merchandise. True. Barely. Um, no, she's not selling that out. She's not doing that. I don't know what she's doing in the studio, but I don't know. Mm. That's what I know is that I don't know. It's a mystery. <laughs> it is a mystery. Um, can Okay, this is sort of random, but can we talk about, okay, so Mariah posted this uh, uh, photo on the social media of her playing that word game. Yeah. Is Mariah like the new like video game fanatic? Because then she was playing Heads Up the other day. Yeah. And then she was, what else was she playing? Then she, they was playing Uno. Well, I think that's what you do when you're traveling. Oh. And you're stuck on the plane or whatever. Oh. Or the train. I guess that's what you do. Yeah. I don't travel that long distances like that, so I don't know. But what about when she was on the plane and she had a notebook in her hand writing lyrics? She could have been writing a letter to her mother. Why? How do you know those are the lyrics? She could have been like... That's what she does It could have been her lyrics. grocery list. She doesn't need no grocery list. She, she gets maybe she's service. like, this I need... Or maybe it's like, this is what I need. I need this dress. I need this. No, no, I'm no, no, no. no. She it yells that be- out loud and someone writes that down for her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, like, just because you see words on a paper next to Mariah doesn't mean she's making a new album. That's how she does it, though. Well, yes, she has to write it down because so she remembers, but <laughs> it could literally be a love letter to Brian. He's right there. G- girl, she's trying to be romantic. A love letter to Brian. What do you think caution is? I don't think caution is a love letter. Okay. Well, I don't think it's a love letter to With you? Brian. Okay. Well, maybe that that's a love letter. Maybe. One more again. Oh, that is a love letter. Giving me life. Oh, gave the life. Okay, maybe. (laughs) Some of those songs could work in that respect. What's another one, Brian? Um, Stay Long Love You. Stay Long Love You. Yeah. I mean, The Distance. The Distance, see? The Distance. It's the Brian Tanaka album. It is. I'll take it, though. I'm not mad. I'll take it. That could be Brian's album. Yeah. Yeah. We like that. Jeter's album is Butterfly. Mm-hmm. Um, who else is out? Al- um, Music Box is Tommy. Do you think? No, no. I don't think she was feeling Tommy like that. Okay, but she dedicated it to him. Well, she had to. Well, yeah, because they just got married. Well, duh. That's why all the songs are so cheesy and cheap. I know. I'm not. I'm just. 
<laughs> I love. I, I don't now. <laughs> Don't don't come for me. You know I love my music box. Hate mail sent to <laughs> Dan Enriquez at <laughs> Gmail. <laughs> no, 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 no. I love, but you know what I mean. It's very, it's very um, it's corny. It's, it's corny. very corny. Yeah. But in the, for the time, nineteen eighty three, that was what people were listening to. Yeah. But like, I think you know the, the sound of that album is not what Mariah wanted. So it's no. that's that's the Tommy album. That's the Tommy album. Funny, because I was thinking about this. It seems like um, Jida and Brian inspire her. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Whereas, look at with Tommy, we got Music Box. Well, yeah. With corniness. And then Nick, we got um, memoirs. Memoirs. No inspiration. Oh, no inspiration. See what I mean? Yeah. To get the one flow, right. the flowation I'm yeah. putting down. And then when she dated that one guy, Mark. We He's got more. emancipation. Uh huh. Yeah. Bit of inspiration. Uh huh. Okay. Do you know what I mean? I'm seeing that. I'm totally seeing that. So I think we should keep Brian for a while. I think so too. <laughs> I mean, he he looks nice too. He yeah. looks nice. He posted some pictures the other day of him like on the boardwalk or something yeah. over in Spain. Yeah. I was like, ooh, girl, he could get it. He could get it. Someone was trying to talk shit about him because you know he did um, that class in England. Yeah. And I was like, no, this is great. He's sticking to what he knows. Girl, that's what he does. It's, like, that's his profession. I know, but remember when Nick Cannon turned up, all of a sudden he's the DJ, he's the TV host, he's directing the video, he's doing this, he's doing that. He's, that's because Nick's an idiot. He's, he, no he's not special at anything. No, so he nothing. tries to like- Try over- everything. What, try everything, okay. thinking something you'll be good at. You suck at everything, Nick. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this, this went we a love weird everyone. direction. <laughs> we love everyone. But you know what I'm saying? like No, but I like that Brian's sticking to what he knows. Yeah. I, like I don't see any problem with that. No. He's out there, you know, I don't know, does he get paid to do those uh, class things? He must. Yeah, making a little of his own money. Yeah. It's not all coming from Mariah. Yeah. I'm not mad at him. No. No one's mad. Although I do want, I do want more, more dancers and female dancers. Do you know what? Because I was watching when she did the Good Morning America Emancipation. Uh-huh. Um... Morning, yeah. morning set uh-huh. with the female dancers. Yeah. And I was like, I like this look. I like that look. Of like more girls and dresses. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And she, I mean, they were on the those same dancers, most of those same dancers. Actually, I, I think for the tour, it was just Rachel and that other female dancer mm. for the tour. But for a lot of the performances and whatnot, they had other female dancers. They yeah. Had multiple. I liked it. Like it was c- c- cute. Yeah. Even the first leg of the One to Infinity had female dancers. Did it? Yes, it did. Yes, oh. mm-hmm. for sure. Did and I really? liked it. Yes, because the girls had the fan, the big Vegas fan. Oh boy! Yeah, I wasn't. It looking. was. See, yeah. Well, nobody's looking because they're backup dancing for Mariah. Yeah, true. It's not like it's Janet Jackson, who, by the way, I was watching a YouTube video of Janet Jackson, and she is killing it. Oh, that looks dance. amazing! Yeah, yeah, I know. And you know who else I was just watching? Um, Miss Paula Abdul was over there at the L.A. Pride. Yes, she yeah. was. And she was flipping and dipping and Doing twirling and twirling. Yeah. Yes, yeah, she was. I loved it. And I, I thoroughly enjoy her because that bitch is old, too. Yeah. She, oh, God. That's Paula. Mm-hmm. I love Paula. Anyways. But I was going to say something about Mariah, females. Oh, another, th- another thought. Uh-huh. Number one, back to the Caution album. Okay. Jermaine really did those two girls, Stefan Don and um, what's the other girl's name? Sean, Shawnee. Shawnee. She, he did them real dirty because he totally hyped everybody up for uh, Missy Elliott slash Cardi B remix. Yeah, he got a lot of damn nerve. Yeah, so everyone wanted that. And so here comes these remixes and nobody cared because if, had they come as a surprise, I think people would, would have been more interested in it. Or if people knew who these girls were, they would be more interested. Or that. Although I will say the one with Shawnee, I do listen to that remix a lot. I like I like her verses. Yeah. It adds a little extra cuteness to it. Right. But, I mean... The thing is, like, he, he hyped everyone up in the wrong direction. Of course. Jermaine. So here he goes, yeah. ruining those girls' moments. Right. And I was thinking, actually, it's kind of cool Mariah's working with females. It is. But, yeah, but here's the thing. Like, she's always worked with hip-hop females. Who? Like Missy, well, DeBrat. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know what I mean? True. Like, when it co- it's been a while, though. It has been a while, so I when do. It, what was that rainbow era? To 20 years ago. Yeah, but she did the Nicki Minaj thing. There was that. 
what who else has she worked with female? That's um kind of well she did the Mary J thing. Uh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I mean if you Oh not your, like mm, yeah, I guess. Yeah. It's rare though. It's rare. It is. You're mm-hmm. right. I mean, everyone she collaborates with is is male. Yeah. So I mean it's good to see Mariah working. But like here's the thing, like people like people say like, oh, Mariah should do a duet with a like another female. Yeah. Which Who? there's no one. There's no there's one. There's literally no one. Whitney Whitney's was it. gone. There's no because no one else can compete. What about Adele? Can we do See, Adele? And Mariah would blow her out of the water too, though. Maybe she can tone it down for Adele. I mean, yeah, maybe if like Mariah was doing these subdued caution type vocals. Yeah. Maybe something would work. Yeah, yeah. I get that. Um, but like to like sing be no, no, no. You know what? I speak Mariah in Vegas. I just so Celine Dion ended her Vegas run yeah. on her last final show, and then she released a live um, video of a brand new song. Really? Yeah. I was like, "Well, look at that." She, bitch is lip syncing for her goddamn life. Of course. But I'm like, and you know, like that's amazing. Why can't Mariah do that? Mm-hmm. Is that something you like? Yes. <laughs> You're not gonna get it. <laughs> not from her. <laughs> Anyways. Um, what else do we have in the world of Mariah? She really hasn't been doing much. There's yeah. there there was those cute um, social media moments where she posted like throwback pictures of her and then like uh, like baby photos. Yes, or with, you know, with like her young, babies. and then you know Monroe and Rocky and yeah. Cha Cha and all of that. Mm-hmm. That was cute because Monroe literally looks like Mariah. Mm-hmm. Like it's like to, uh, like even the lips. Yeah. Are like exactly the same. I know it's crazy. Do you think we're, we're gonna get like a Judy Garland, Liza Minnelli situation? Uh, I think we spoke Famous about this daughter. last week. I, I mean, sure, why not? I'm sure that they're training, they're molding those vocal cords. Yeah, of course they are. As of we course speak, they are. Well, you know, uh, uh, somebody said this um, that J Lo had taken her daughter on stage with her in Vegas, and they were singing together. Oh yeah, I was like, well, I don't know how that would sound. <laughs> Oh, girl, <laughs> you know some of these kids nowadays. They just think they can be singers because, you know, the thing is these days there's no point. There's, there's no money. Uh, well, yeah, there's no money, but like, you think you're good because everyone who is out there making music right now is so mediocre. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, like, I, I dare J Lo's daughter to be trying to be a singer in 1992. Mm-hmm. Uh, honey, you wouldn't. You'd be laughed out of the fucking record label. <laughs> yeah. Laugh. Out, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. It was like, no, you in the the day of the vocal trinity, like Mariah, Whitney, Celine, mm. bitch, you can't nobody like penetrate that. Mm-hmm. Like you had to be on another level mm-hmm. in those days. Now it's just like you know Taylor Swift out there singing off key, Katy Perry. Mm-hmm. <sighs> God bless her. Mm-hmm. You know, I will give that Rihanna though. I'll give her some credit because she's been taking vocal lessons. She has you and she picks she knows how to pick hits too. Yeah. So we, we gotta we gotta give her props for that. Adele has the big voice, but again, there's no Trinity. There's no one to back her up. Yeah. There's no Divas Live happening with her. No. And friends. No. I love Adele though. No, she's good. We love Adele. Yeah. I'm just saying. She's kind of it for the now. Yeah, I mean, when you really think about like who, like who out there right now is a vocalist who can sing. Yeah, and it's really like nobody. Yeah, like Mariah. Still, still. Yeah, that's about it. Mariah's having these like comeback moments. Her old music's like, oh, this is actually good. I know. Sing it, girl. such as "Always My Baby" we, back we on know. the R and B chart. Oh my God! Yes, can we talk about that? Yeah. No, wait, was it the R&B chart or it was, it was the digital? digital? It was the digital R&B chart. R&B chart. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, something. That, that is something because that's how all music is now, yeah. digital. Yes. <laughs> so. An old song coming yeah, back up. Exactly. I think it had to do with... Um, the Netflix film. The Netflix film. Oh, it was my maybe. Did you, did you watch no, it? No, I want to. It was on my list. Oh, it's super cute. Did you watch it? I did. Is it good? And, oh, it's, it is good. It is good. I love how much is the song used? It's just used during the end, like... Uh-huh. Um, the, it, I won't like it's during the end and then like it like sort of like it plays Place the credits and then the credits start no it's like it's in the movie oh. but it's like really at the end like maybe like the last one minute of film oh wow and then it's played for like the credits and is it resung 
No, it's the same version. Do they trick you by throwing an M in text? No. Oh, because I feel like in the trailer... In the trailer, it is different. They put text as it's happening, almost mm-hmm. like lyrics, but they put the maybe. Right. Uh, and, and it tricks they, your ears and eyes. You're they like, did like a different... Maybe? Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. But if they did a different um, edit for the, the film, or mm. for the trailer. Mm. In the in the actual movie, it's just the regular, oh. regular one. Oh, word on the street. Oh, yeah? She got half a meal for that. Oh yeah, the word. That's the word. Yeah. I mean, could you imagine an old like, song? Literally, yeah. it, like you did nothing. The song's twenty three, four, four, five, six, seven years old, yeah. and you just got a half a million dollars for that. Can you imagine? Like, sign me up. Where do I get that job? I know. Like, that's crazy. That job, you but mean it, songwriter? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Where do I get the job of Mariah Carey? <laughs> <laughs> Are you taking applications? Because I want to be Mariah Carey. I think you missed the boat. Uh, I think so. Maybe 30, 40 years too late. Um, but speaking of wanting to be Mariah Carey, we have to sort of circle back around because I was watching a YouTube video of our friend of the show, Misty Copeland. Oh, yeah. And somebody asks her a question in the audience. Um, you know, if you weren't a ballerina, like what would you be doing? And she mm. was like, well, you know, when I was younger, I wanted to be Mariah Carey. Mm. That's just it. Like I just wanted to be Mariah Carey. That yeah. was it. And then she was like, oh, I guess, but today I would probably want to be a chef or something. Oh, she, yeah. oh really? Mm-hmm. Oh, she loves to cook, girl. Get out of here. Yes, yeah, she's a cooker. Misty. Yeah. Uh huh. I like uh, cooking. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, oh yeah. You be cook. cooking. Yeah. You, you and Misty could cook. I think she's more on the lean, um, Non-meat chicken side of things. Oh, probably. I'm towards the meat chicken side of things. Oh, oh, I love meat chicken. <laughs> Steak, beef. I like that, yeah. Well, maybe mm-hmm. I can chicken, I can learn to yeah, yeah, expand. Yeah, yeah, swap. <laughs> yeah. Um, but anyways, so we have to Well, hang on. To- Speaking of Misty. Yeah. So her brother, you know, which was on the show, her brother contacted us. And I was looking at his YouTube, his um, Facebook page. He can sing. Oh, can he? It's in the family. Oh, wait, yes, I saw, I think I saw a video yeah. clip of him singing on It's the in the Facebook. fam. I wonder if Misty can sing. Maybe. We never asked. We never asked. Yeah. Interesting. Um, but, okay, but can we tell all the folks that we went to the ballet? So we went to the ballet. Yes. Finally. We saw Misty. Uh-huh. She was amazing. Yeah. So the... We, A real thrill. Girl, they be too fancy over there at the Met Opera House. Yes. Girl. Fancy pants. These rich bitches. Yeah. Um, so the place is fabulous and amazing. And we saw Misty in the Jane Eyre. Yeah, uh, ballet, which is like an old school book, right? About like this little orphan girl who like is taken away, and mm-hmm. like now then like she falls for like an older guy, um, and that's that's you know that's the shit, that's the storyline, pretty much. But um, Misty was amazing. She's amazing. I mean, she, she is. It's like breathtaking. It's mesmerizing. It is hypnotic. It is. And you know, yeah. you really have to pay attention because like, I, for a minute there, I was like, okay, well, when do they start like talking? I'm like, right. oh, they don't. Uh, yeah, like, I have to like pay attention. Yeah, to what is going on here. Yeah, yeah. So I know what's happening. Yeah, and then like, and then you're in it, and but then this you need is to yeah. Know. This is not like ballet, like girls. Twirling and doing the you know, in a tutu, yeah, no. on point, like just twisting and doing whatever. There's like drama. There's oh, stories. There's someone lot. got stabbed. Yes, girl. And there's a crazy bitch. Yes, <laughs> girl. Okay, there's but a the, lot going the on. One thing I didn't know. Um, um, I guess you'd have to really know the story. Is that, um, at the very end, the guy that she falls in love with, that Mister Rochester guy. Yeah, like. Wait, can you give it away? Oh, it's, it's out there. Girl, this book's been out for 5,000 years. <laughs> <laughs> the crazy ex-wife lady, Bertha, yeah. she makes him go blind. And then that's when Misty's character, Jane, comes in and she still marries him. But he's blind now. Oh, no. I missed that Did part. Did I not get that? Yeah, I, I missed it. I missed it, too. I missed it. I had to, like, read. I had to read the thing. How did, she get, how did she get blind? I forget. We must have missed it, girl, because she did something. She was causing trouble. She was causing trouble. There's a character named Bertha, and so uh, and she's crazy. She's dancing around in a red dress and, and whatnot. She was crazy. Creeping around? Yeah. It was and, good. Oh, it was so good. It yeah. was so good. It's totally worth going. I, I, I'm well, telling you, I want to go again. Even if you're from out of town, the experience of like going to the ballet, turning up the Met, at Lincoln Center, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. going into the Opera House, it's stunning. It's a beautiful it's venue. All, it's the whole yeah. like the whole vibe of everything from beginning to end. Yeah. And then when you see someone, you know, like I was like, 
we're going to the ballet for the first time and we're not just seeing like, you know, some girls over here twirling and tutuing. Yeah. We're seeing Misty fucking Copeland. Yeah. Like this is like when you go to like your first basketball game and yeah. then Michael Jordan's playing. Yeah. Like you're seeing like the top of the field. But not only like, that, Misty Copeland who credits Mariah Carey right. as like sparking the dancing. So it's like this whole like mind blowing like Here big we all are. circle of everything. Yeah. It's like so amazing. I know. And I want to go back and see her. Now I have to see Swan Lake. Sold out. It's so, well, there are a couple of seats, but they're like single seats and they're all obstructed views. Oh, I looked, I saw that. And I was like, girl, you know, I only got one working eye. I can't take an obstructed view yeah. because then I really, I won't be able to see shit. But you know, sometimes obstructed view is not that bad. Just like a small pole or something. True. And from my remembering of like how the setup is there, I'm like, I didn't see any obstructions. Yeah. I didn't see obstructions. I thought our seats were fabulous. We had excellent seats. Excellent aisle seats. seats. Yes. That's where I live, the aisle. Oh, oh, Got to be on the aisle. Yes. We were, we were not too close, but we were not too far. And then... Um, Listen, oh, totally worth going. Go to totally worth going. ABT.org. You can go to Misty's page up there. Check out her yeah. shows. shows go. Are, yeah, the season's almost over, so you got to go. Go to quick. But I wanted to talk about, a little more quickly about the ballet because, you know, again, this is not just about, like, twirling and doing this, like, what you think a typical ballerina would do. Mm. Like, they do that in, like, Swan Lake. Mm-hmm. And that's why I want to see Swan Lake because I want to see Misty do, like, 17 twirls and in, 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 on her tippy toes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like, I want to see that. Yeah. In a tutu. Yes. Like, I want to see that. Yeah. But this one was much more subtle, but there were some amazing moves. Did you catch when... She and I I've never seen this stuff before, but did you catch the time? She did it quite quite a few times where she would be on like she would pop up on her point on her mm. tippy toes and she would like slide across the stage. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Did you, I was like, bitch, yes. she's like just sliding across yeah. the stage on her tippy toes. I know. How do you do that? I know. And not fall. I mean, she's so steady and yeah. so like, you know what I mean? Girl, well, I, it looks, I get wobbly just being on my tippy toes, not yeah. even sliding across the stage. I know. That's the, so that's amazing. The trickery of it all. It's so difficult and complicated, but it looks so elegant and easy on the yeah. stage. It was amazing. Like when Mariah sings. Absolutely. Same thing. It's, it's, uh, <laughs> God damn it. So good. So good. But um, I loved it because we were able to go backstage and, and um, hang out with Misty for a moment. Yeah. So she she's com- busy. She's Oh, honey, she is so busy. Yeah. She is so busy, like moving and grooving all the time. But um, so we got backstage before Misty God, yeah. It was actually off the stage because her manager's like, I want I want you to be back there like right away so we don't yeah. have to deal with all the people and shit. Mm-hmm. Um, so we went back there. We see Misty come off the stage. She does her, you know, her bows and all of this, blah, blah, blah. She comes off the stage. She's like, oh my God, so, so, so excited to see you, but I have to change. I have to change. Yeah. And I was like... Okay, girl, go change, girl, yeah. go change. We've got like, nowhere to be. We, we, you could, you know, this is like takes place in like this, uh, like 1700s. So they yeah. have like these old, like, you know. Kind of like a peasant dress. Peasant dresses. Yeah. And I was like, girl, we could just stand here and talk in your peasant dress. Yeah. She's like, no, I have to go change. I have to go change. We're like, okay, girl, go change. So we're sitting there and I see out the corner of my eye, here comes little Misty <laughs> and she got, she looks gorgeous. She got her jeans and then she's wearing the crop top that we gave her when she came on the show. We gave her a crop top of the glitter t-shirt that we yeah. have and she is wearing the t-shirt. She was, was too like, much. Well, Girl. gagged. Yeah. I was literally, I was yeah. gagged. I was like, I never in a million years would have thought that you would have I wear, know. Wear, wear that. She's like, are you kidding me? This is amazing. <laughs> and then she pulls out her caution mug yeah. from the Mariah Report store. Girl. And it holds Prosecco. And it holds Prosecco. Yeah. Yes. If you pour it in there, it sure will. <laughs> it was good. It was such a great experience. It really, really is. Now I'm like, now I have to go back and see her again. Because yeah. I need I need to. And, but it's one of those things of like going to the ballet. You don't know what, you don't really know what that is. So once you do it, you're like, oh, I get it now. Mm-hmm. This is amazing. What was I waiting? Yeah. What did I what wait so it? long? Hello, where have I been? Yeah. Uh, it's crazy. Also, it's really cool to see that she has diversified the audience. Oh, yeah, for sure. It was definitely very mixed. Absolutely. And there were also a lot of young people there as well. Yeah. Because I think she has like a young, young audience. crowd, yeah. audience. It's amazing. No, it was great. Yeah. So amazing. We're so grateful. and um, I know. Thanks, Misty. Yeah. Happy that she's supporting the Mariah Report store.com. <laughs> yeah. uh, which, by the way, we do have a new shirt in there. Did we tell them this last week? Yeah, we did. 
Oh, I'm wearing okay. it now. Oh, yes. Gagged, honey. Gagged. You can go, especially for Pride. We have it in all the Pride colors. Yeah. Um, on a black t-shirt. Super cute. So you can go pick that up, MariahReportStore.com. And we are also on Etsy now. Yeah. Uh, at Etsy, E-T-Z-Y. Look up Mariah, Mariah Report. Report. I think you have to put Mariah Report Store. Look it up. Look it up. It's there. So yeah. you can now purchase via that as well. I know, right? It's ex- expanding. Yeah. Okay, what other tidbits are there of Mariah? I don't I think we pretty much covered everything. I mean, do we want to talk very briefly about how she changed up the set list a little bit in um some cuz now she's doing one sweet day again? Oh, she how, is? Yeah, how do you feel about that? I'm not feeling much. Not feeling much for it. No. Yeah, she is. that's a downer. I know. And I think because I, you know, there's that one spot in oh. this show where she like will sing like "Loves Take Time," "Love Takes Time," or something like that. Yeah. Um, Hang on, she, I had a thought. What she's singing it because the record's in jeopardy with that country song. Oh, that's right. That's right. But First it's not of like all, her singing is going to bring it back. No, honey. And I just feel like I'm really over "One Sweet Day," even though I love that song. I know. Um, I just don't know. I would, girl, I'll almost take any other ballad. Same. Like almost. Yeah. I don't know why she put that back in. What did she It take? doesn't have caution vibe. Zero. You know what I mean? it, like zero, zero vibes. I honestly, I'd rather do I'll Be There. Would you? Yeah. No, bring back Endless Love. Well, yeah, but no, we have to leave Endless Love at the, oh, at at the, the Royal Albert, Royal Albert <laughs> Hall. <laughs> <laughs> we have to just leave it there. Yeah. Um, but what could she do? Give me she, um, um, anything from... Wait, no, because it'll be Caution Vibey. It has to be Caution Vibey. What can it be? Um, what about um, w- w- Slipping can, Away? Yeah, absolutely. That would fit perfectly. But also, what about... Can we go back to when the Caution store, tour started and she was singing Portrait? Yeah. Can we? You're giving me one... Girl, no. get out. Yeah. GTFO. Uh-huh. GTFO, One Sweet Day. Yeah. I'm sorry. I love One Sweet Day. We love her, but she's had her moment. She's had her moment. We, she lives in Vegas. Yes. Come on. Send her back there. That's where she no, wants to be. No, don't send her back be. there. That's where she <laughs> wants to be. She <laughs> wants to be in Vegas. Um, but uh, so, yeah, she's doing that. Can we talk about that song, that country song? It's cute. Girl, I almost threw up when I listened to it. I thought it was a cute little... Bumpkin kind of song. I don't mind a little country. That's the thing. Oh, I, don't get me started. I, you know I love my Leanne Rhymes. Yes, you, you do. Know. <laughs> <laughs> you know I love my Dolly. Dolly. We love a Dolly moment. Who else do I listen to with the country? Oh, the, you know the Shania. Yeah. You know I love my a Carrie Under. Oh, a good Carrie. You know who else I'm loving in the country now? Yeah. Oh, oh, the Dixie Chicks. Don't get me started on Dixie them. Chicks had some jams. Um, uh, there's this girl called Marin Morris. Uh-huh. Something like that. She has a really good song called The Bones. Really? On her new album. So that's cute. I like my country. Yeah. But. I don't mind this new song. What's it called again? Old Town Road. Uh, no, girl. I listen With, to that um, song. With Baby Ooh. Nass, whatever his name is. What's his name? Uh, I don't know nobody's name. Billy Ray Cyrus, I thought. Yeah, but the rapper is. Um, Lil Nas X. Lil Nas X. I heard about him on yes, Wendy. Same. That's how I know him. Uh huh. All these littles out there. Yeah. Anyways, um, I thought that song was horrible. I couldn't even like fully listen. I was I thought it was oh I don't hate ridiculous. it ridiculous. Really? Well, I was surprised to hear it's coming for the record. That's shocking to me. Doesn't it also have like? I think it's only been number one for like seven weeks. I know. Why everyone think people are freaking oh, out? Because it has such a high lead in front. Oh, it's like from, it's so stay like deep. number two is so far behind. Oh, I see. They are can people like really like listening to that song though? It's probably a summer jam. The kids are out of school. Girl, no, I heard. I heard it, girl. It is now. It's not a jam. It's not a bop. The kids it's like not it. a bit. No, it's nothing. The kids got no taste. The kids. Yes, the kids these days. Sorry. Sorry about it. Anyways, I think One Sweet Day is going to be fine. Listen, here's the thing. That record's going to be broken one day. Yeah, because now people can just stream things for free. And now all of a sudden it's just like, oh, I have 60 million streams. Yeah, well, half of them were probably free from Spotify. Yeah. Because you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm I'm still. Or YouTube from around the world. Yeah. Or that. Do you know what I mean? Anyways, back in the day, you had to be in the country buying the single, right? Not around the world watching YouTube. I know. 
different different world different world who cares different world the record's gonna get broken one day let's just deal with it because yeah. there's too many close calls now so let's just let it go we had our moment right once we day had its moment we're always gonna have the receipt of physical sales true and that's good and that's when it counts that's yeah. when it matters yeah so all right but I still don't think it's gonna beat one sweet day. Like, come on, something something is gonna Stretch, happen. Yeah. Something's gonna pop off. Yeah, a new song, a little, a new little somebody will bring something. Is Taylor Swift fizzling? I think so. Yeah. Oh, Taylor. Yeah. Well, it's her time to fizzle. Yeah, I guess it happens to all of them. Yeah, you can only last so long. You True. know what I mean? It's uh, you, you, Taylor. She's almost thirty. Yeah, she, her days are coming. Isn't that crazy? Isn't it though? Anyways, you know she lives by Mariah in Tribeca. Uh huh. She but she brought like the whole fucking block. But I was like, oh, does she live in meatpacking? No, it looks like a meatpacking building. Oh, but it, it's it's on Franklin Street. Get out of here! Mm-hmm. But that's yeah. the one the killer climbed in the window. Yes, right? that is the one. Yes. Why is she yes. so low to the ground, girl? She Mariah wouldn't do that. No, you go to the top. No, you go all <laughs> the way to the top, honey. Can nobody get With you? With security up there. at the front door downstairs, and then. A, Front door on my level. Absolutely. That's what she has. Not people climbing the window. Did I ever tell you the story? We got to go. This is uh. <laughs> wrapping things up. <laughs> did I ever tell you the story about this guy that I worked with? I think I did. Uh, he went to Mariah's apartment <coughs> once. Inside? Um, not inside it, but like he uh, went to like a friend's friend lived in the building. Mm. And so... You know, when he, he, like, he does, he's not a Mariah fan, like, whatever. But when the friend brought him to the building, he's like, yeah, Mariah lives in the penthouse. Mm. And they're like, oh, that's so crazy. Like, we should go up there and let's just see. So they took the elevator up. Lock and run. And the door opens. They didn't get out or anything. They just, like, looked. (laughs) And uh, allegedly, she has a huge portrait of herself hanging, like, in, so there's, like, the the security space, like, when you walk out of the elevator, and then there's, you know, behind that, there's the Mariah's front doors. Yeah. So apparently she has, like, security outside the elevator? No, I, I, I think the security would be in, outside the elevator, like, at a desk. Downstairs. No, upstairs on that floor. Oh, but they didn't see anybody. No, because I don't think Mariah was living there at the time. Oh, so like the, the guys, like he's at home. Security's right, right, right. at home. Right. Um, but normally he would be there. Got it. Like if Mariah's home. Yeah. But apparently she has like a huge. Because I'm like, portrait. okay, the killer already got too close. Right. In this exactly. situation. Yeah. <laughs> um, but apparently she has a huge portrait of herself, um, and she's wearing like a leopard print dress. That, that's a word on the street because I don't know if I believe him or not. Oh, interesting. Because I feel like... Out the I, elevator. Yes, right out the elevator, like where the security, you would check in with Mariah's private security. Oh. Like if you're coming to the house. Wow. If anyone out there listening knows, can, seen confirm this? or deny. But I feel like when the guy, she... Remember when around the world she had Bing and Bong? Yes. And that that journalist, that TV guy. The little puppies. The little Bingham puppies, Bong. yeah. In Japan. Um, uh-huh. Well, he he revisited Mariah like maybe in like 2006 or 2007. The guy that's like, bingo bongo. Yeah, that guy. That he, guy, yeah. He went to Mariah's apartment and he filmed it for the Japanese TV show. Oh. And he, I think he walks through that space before he gets to Mariah's front door. And I didn't see any life-size portrait of Mariah in a, in a leopard dress. Maybe she's like, take it down. Or maybe, or maybe it was so old and she didn't have it up yet. I don't know. But that's what he told me. That's what he told me. Was it, it a painted or a photo? I think photograph. he said a photograph. Big or small? Huge. The size of the wall. Like huge. In a frame or stuck to the wall? <laughs> he didn't get those details. Because <laughs> I really, I'm sitting here thinking, I, I wonder if this is true or not. I don't know. So it's like a poster. Yes, like a life-size poster. Maybe they just had to hold I mean, it that, there. I'm not saying that's like a bad or a wrong thing. Do we know what that from? Right. I'm like, I don't remember her doing anything the in like I a leopard print. I think it's like maybe a Rolling Stone photo shoot. Yeah, but that was like... That's a bikini. A bikini. And that's a hot picture. So yeah. like she yeah. could totally do that. Yeah, it would match the glazing look yes. she has. Like candy. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, that's just a thing. Where is David LaChapelle? Can we get some new photos from him and Mariah? He's probably too expensive. No, they're friends. Yeah, but he's got to pay rent too. Yeah. 
Remember when he did the almost home video? That was cute. I loved cute, it. Cute, but low budget. It looked good though. Yeah, but she just had a chair and a wind machine. Well, that's how most of those things are for the movie. You just do a little something and then they play the movie throughout. It, I th- she had handography, bitch. I didn't say it was bad. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> just saying it wasn't his, his normal motif. No, it was of much, high gloss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It definitely wasn't like Loverboy. Like Lover Boy. But anyways, all right. That's all I got. I just had that last little word on the street that I don't know if I've ever said before. Well, now we need an investigation. Now we need an investigation. <clears throat> Who's been to Mariah's apartment lately? Who has been to her apartment? Who has? Who can we text that would know? I don't think I know anyone who's ever been in her apartment. But I don't know. Although I will say this. I was down there once uh, not too long ago. Mm-hmm. And that little restaurant that's next door, I think it's called South's. Mm-hmm. It's closed. Uh, the rent's too damn high around the here. The rent is damn too damn high. Yeah. Especially in Mariah's building. Could you imagine... That's you happening know, around the whole city. The rent's is. too damn high. It really is. Business can't survive. Oh, oh no. Because there was a couple things down here by me um, that were there forever, like a GNC and a, and, oh. and something else. I thought, they all closed. How, Burger King. I went looking for Burger King. Oh, that Burger King been gone, girl. Go, when I looked girl. here, I used to go there all the time. I was like, where's my Burger King? <laughs> the Burger and King. I walked right. I was like, walked too far. Down. I was like, where's the Burger Where King? Is the Bur- Burger King is gone, girl. Where, when? When? <laughs> <laughs> She's been gone for a minute, but now it's like some bootleg, like I saw uh, something boot, like a cafe t- or something, or like oh, bakery or something. I've never been in it, but yeah, it's bootleg. Oh, the Burger King, <laughs> the good old Burger King is gone, girl. So many days broke. I'll just I like go have Burger King for dinner. Yeah. Oh my god! Do you back know in I the used day. to talk about back in the day, bitch? Burger King and I go way back because I used to work at a Burger King <laughs> in high school, girl. I was the drive-through king. <laughs> I was. Oh yes, I was working in the Burger King, and this is when like Pokemon was big. So like we had Pokemon toys, oh. and like p- people would come up to the drive-through window and be like, "I'll give you twenty bucks, give me a Pokemon." Yeah, and then they go sell them on eBay for like seven thousand. People were crazy. I was like, "Yes, give me that twenty bucks right now, yeah. thank you." And <laughs> Get out of my driveway. Yeah. <laughs> I got a line. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, those were the days. Those are funny days. Yeah, Burger King, Burger King gone, girl. People go nuts for those toys in general. Yeah, they do. Because I was at McDonald's working. Oh, yeah. Those Happy Meal toys, if you did not have the right toy oh, in the collection. Oh, it was a thing. It was a serious girl, issue. Girl, we would go like a fancy day out for us when we were kids. We would go to the motherfucking McDonald's and get us a Happy Meal. And we thought it was like we were eating five-star restaurant, Okay. Like, the, oh, and we would be fighting over the toys, over the toys. Well, depending because I like if there was ever like a girl and a boy toy, there was always version, a girl, there was always a girl and boy. So I would always get the girl one mm. usually because those were the ones I wanted. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. So I didn't fight over those. But like if it was something else like that was sort of like, you know, universal, yeah. like boy or girl could have it. Uh-huh. We, oh, we would be fighting me and my brothers. We would be fighting. I would be stealing their shit and hiding it. Did you only get one Happy Meal each? I mean, <laughs> how did it work? We, no, I think we would all get our own. Okay. <laughs> no, we were not sharing the <laughs> one Happy Meal between the three of us. I tell you, when mama brought us out to the McDonald's, honey, she had got extra in her paycheck that week. Okay. 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 Yeah. Taking the so kids out. Was, yeah. So we was getting dressed up, girl. <laughs> But those were the days where like McDonald's had like Playland in them. They had better. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, there was ton, tons of fun. It was a day out. Oh yeah, girl. We would do our birthday at like McDonald's. Yeah, that's where. I, where you want to go I've been to many birthday. a birthday party. Oh, at many, McDonald's. many with the motherfucking hamburger. Did you get the ice cream cake? No, it was what? always an ice cream cake. That get was out that of here. stick. No, you, you do your birthday at McDonald's and you get an ice cream cake. Like a whole one for everyone to eat? For, no, for everybody. Yeah, one to share for the birthday. Oh, they were party. doing ice cream cake. It was the biggest, like four the biggest stick. Robins? Yeah, oh, we didn't wow. have that. Oh, you didn't have? No, y'all didn't have. So no ice cream basketball. cake was like Lux. that was like the thing. Yeah. Oh wow. Uh huh. Girl, look at us now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think that not uh, much has changed. I'm still McDonald's. Where's my Burger King, girl? Yeah. I'm still looking for Burger King. <laughs> um, so I think on that note, we will uh, wrap this episode of the Mariah Report up. Sorry, we didn't have too much to talk about. Mariah was blame Mariah. You know, blame Mariah. It's yeah. not our fault. No. You know, 
We do. We and can. And yet we have an hour of stuff to talk about. Exactly. So we never, <laughs> never uh, fail to talk about something. All right. Let's recap so. all the things everyone has to do. Yes. Go see Misty in the Ballet. Absolutely. Tune into Neon Night. It's now a podcast. So uh-huh. You know how to do that. I'll, we'll put the link in the, in the description. Right. Um, I'm on the show. We're talking Mariah remixes. Then you can also listen to the songs in a mix. Mm-hmm. And then they have to go to MariahReportStore.com. Get your merch. Get your merch. Gagged. Yeah. yeah. We have more merch coming soon, so stay tuned. Yeah. But, um, you know, End of the month, we've got a whole collection coming. Yeah. This is the Pride edition. Get it now because it takes a couple of days to get made and shipped and all that stuff. Yeah, absolutely. You want to get it now. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, um, what else? One more thing. I'm forgetting. Um, Misty. Go to the um, ballet. Get your merch. Neon Nights. Mm, um, mm. There's that Mariah party coming up. Mariah Party. The Mariah Party coming up uh, if you're in New York this weekend. Yes. June 16th, I believe. Yeah. I don't, okay, I'll, don't Saturday. listen to me on dates because last time I got them wrong. The upcoming Saturday. Upcoming Saturday, the 15th, June 15th. 15th. In celebration of the 29th anniversary of Mariah's debut album, um, DJ Bright Light, Bright Light yes. is throwing another Mariah Party. Like the one... The Caution Weekend, yes. that big Mariah party we did, everybody went nuts, yes. had the time of their life. Uh huh. Oh Just my God, another it was one. so much so fun. So much fun. Yeah, that was the weekend of the Caution Tour. Part two is happening. Yeah, so that's happening. Um, if you are in town, go ahead. I won't be there this time. Is that Club Cummings? I, could, I can't make it too. I can't make it. But you guys should all go and have it's fun. It's fun. Yeah, Club Cummings. We'll post something on the, you know, the social, social something. So you know. I feel like I'm forgetting one more thing. There probably is. Uh, Absolutely. Sh- Nothing else. That's it. Support That's it. support the lambs. Yeah. Lambs are doing things. Absolutely. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Get into it. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks. We love, appreciate, and enjoy. Ya. Talk soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.